How's it going, beautiful people? I'm Oz, and last episode we finally got to the treasury, only to again realize. Hey Nathan, over here. Um, that everything's gone. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Hmm. Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So, based on that, all the manifests on the shelves. The treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah. Dan, inside. What do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look. There's Avery. Two. Founders of Libertalia. Mm. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys are already uh... taking it themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Melted it down to something smaller. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? Oh, it's a map. Yeah, right there. Told you. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. Right, so follow it to the other side of the island. Now look, right there. New Devon. Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> what do you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Told you there was something to that map. Now, how do we get up there? I'm not finished searching for shinies yet. There's got to be one shiny in here that we can collect. Like, you can't make a whole freaking treasury and not have one shiny for Oz to have. Like, cereal? Yeah, 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 in a minute. Oh, there's gonna be something to those chains, isn't there? Great. Oh, what do you want? What do you want to do? Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> Sounds surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now well, the place is looking classy. Wow. No, it doesn't look like there's any shinies, guys. Why don't you see if you can swing to that other chain? I know! God damn, what do you think I am? <laughs> oh, what? God damn. Oh, I see. We can, like, um... Sorry, Condon. Baldridge, 
What? You're stepping on Baldrich. Oh, so I am. Baldrich. <laughs> All I can think of is Baldrick from, um... Oh, you know the show I'm talking about. Baldrick. Um, well, surely it wants us to go up, so... But I'm gonna go down. <laughs> then again, maybe not. I like Sammy's like, no, oh, God, no. Um. Let's go. Uh. Up. Ah, here we go. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. What are you doing? This is a nice place. So I guess people just left after they Oops. found out there was no money. Spoke too soon. Like I said. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yep. Yes, I know. I know. God. Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. Well, yeah. So, do I just jump across? Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's not gonna work. I thought I saw him reach, but obviously not. I need to wear my glasses more. So, um... Okay, let's start that again. I do um, so he did reach, I just didn't. Damn! <laughs> Sam? Yeah? Alright, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx him! About there. <laughs> sure is excited. Wow. This is really, really surreal. Oh, here we go. We need to go up a little bit more. Need a lift? I love a lift. Come on, ready? Ready. <laughs> oh, the two brothers. I do miss doing this with Elena, though. All right, I found something. I'm hoping that she Stand like back. joins yeah. us on our little trip sooner rather than later. Um. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Oh. Quite the crow's nest, huh? There yep. it is. Just on the other side of the river. Oh. Let's see we go. Rob from the rich, huh? So what is that? Hey, That's... is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. Hang on. Are you saying that's New Devon? Oh, he named the new place New Devon. Um. Oh, so, this is. How long you figure it'll take us to get to New Devon? A uh, couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. What the fuck? RPG! Oh, shit! Um... You are right. Yeah! Come on! Come in window! Oh, okay. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Well, 
sit down, man. Where are you? I'm down here. Come on. Wait. Okay, that would be. Jesus, that was close. Something tells me they've had enough of us. Really? What gives you that idea? Where are they? Oh, there he is. Down so... here, quick! Don't wait, just go! Oh, God damn. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm getting my bearings. Oh, bloody hell! Nathan! Nathan! Get Come up, on, mate. We gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, now! No, oh my God! Not this again! Not this again! Try this again. Mm, God damn. Okay. Where do I go now? Um, out this window. Come on, I've got time for this shit. I need to find Sam. Oh my god! <laughs> Bitch, please. Okay, wait, wait. You're so rude. Where's your manners? Hey, Nadine. Great to see you again. Okay, Mango. Mango. What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. <laughs> are you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. There's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey, just, just let's talk. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything. You think I'm just going to let you walk away? Yes. That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but 
There's two of us. Um, I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Really? Come on, get out, mate. Really? I'm tired of asylum. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. Oh, I know you don't. Get off. What the? <laughs> No sound then. Gun. Just You're pull fast. it. But you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel? Put your guns down! All of you! No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! I mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! <laughs> Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Oh. It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> wow. Samuel. You okay. I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're business, man. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, fuck off, man. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Mm, something along yeah. those lines. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. <gasps> oh. Oh um. my. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just keep running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. No. Oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? That's why I didn't... Nate. No. Oh. Jesus. No. Oh. oh, my God. 
one. Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Yeah, yeah. Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? Can we just get one away? way or another end it? Or I will. Yeah, she's getting tired of this shit. Wow! You heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. You only need one of us. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen! Wow, 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 wow. I did not see that one coming. I did not see that one coming. That was incredible. Oh, oh my god. Nate. Hey, Nate! Hang on, what? Where the fuck did she come from? Uh, Finally! Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. I've been waiting for this moment for God knows how Babe, long. Here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah, we start by finding a way in. Brothers. And then we can take the grand tour. You know, younger Sam kind of sounds like Rafe, but nasally. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's find the shinies first. Surely, like, younger Drake can find shinies out in the backyard. Hey, buddy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wicked! A little toy soldier, really? Jeez. What do you think a place like this costs? I well, I the answer would make you sad. Well, hence why I can afford all that stuff. Excuse me. Um. What if I go this way in this corner? Let's see if the front door is open. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Shut up. You can see all the males there. I want to tell you. Shut up. It was worth a try. It sure was. It looks like there must be something down this driveway here then. Well, up this driveway. God, this place is bloody massive. That's right, I gotta remember that little Drake can't jump as far. <laughs> Surely there's some form of security guard or something. Hey Nathan, look. An open window. Oh shit, really? Oh yeah. Here, follow me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, nothing else here. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Okay, give me your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just... Okay, here we go. <coughs> Done. Alright, there you go. <coughs> 
Where's the open window? I can't jump that high. Well, maybe let's jump this bit here. Yeah, follow me. Wait. Oh, you're there. Oh, are we supposed to jump across? Okay, there. That's. Right. Come on, Nathan. Yes, ma'am. Get your ass in there, then. Come on. Cody's got a lot of stuff. Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. Cool. They're the exact same torches that they used so, in The Last of Us. are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? <laughs> mm, nothing in here. Mm, cool. It's right about now that I'd get that sort of, like, feeling that, you know, someone's watching me or something, you know? It's, I presume that's what the stuff is there, so I'm just going to go around and search for other things just to make sure that I'm not missing anything else. <sighs> nope. He's got a lot of canteens. It's not be in this attic. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Yeah. That's... Okay, well let's let's go over here then and find out what this bit is over here. Because surely that's something. Oh, it's just a letter. Miss Evelyn, my name is Knichia Onampa, mm, whatever. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurer's Lodge last week regarding your recent find, the set of Tokugawa era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the condescending tone of the questions from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we both have struggled in that regard. I write today because I have come into possession of what I believe to be French is it jousting armour. Though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any spare if you have any time to spare, I would appreciate your insight of someone with your expertise. Apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I travel to Iceland to study a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I am staying at the Lennox. If you wish to contact me, I sincerely hope you do. Kindest regards. Kenichi Charaboy, whatever it was. Blah. Okay, so... Let's get into the house then. Interesting. Down we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, is so, this place? How do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Look at there. There's something over there in that box, possibly. Oh, go. God, I already White found leather. it. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to end the cutscene so soon. I need to find Chinese. Um. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. <laughs> probably. Wow. Wow. Look at all the planes and stuff. How cool is this? Why are there blankets all over everything? Greetings from Peru. I hope my letter arrives safely. There is no post office here. Only a small patch of grass serving as a runway and slow boats up the Manu River. I wish you could have seen the howl of monkeys yesterday. Bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. 
I would not describe the noises they make as a howl, however, it is like a hurricane mixed with a lion's roar. Were it not for illegal were it not illegal and dangerous, I'd bring one home for you as a pet. Your mum is busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's um, excursion, I was going to say execution, <laughs> into the jungle where we hope to conclude our research. She sends her love. I hope, promise when you're older we shall bring you on our trips so that you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother, study hard, and we'll see you in a month. Love, Dad. Hey. So Where's the kids now? These boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. <laughs> exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Why do they move a lot? Again? Uh, we'll find out soon. I think. Oh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 So why the hell wouldn't it... Wow. What the hell? That's cool. It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. <laughs> Damn, this is real. What is this place? Well, a place of explorers. Let's go find out. <laughs> so, hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. <laughs> Lol. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar too? On second thought, maybe not. Why not? Preservation, man. What's this? Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Yeah, totally cool. Gross. Oh, hang on. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. And you recognize that one? Uh. I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. They're buried together. It's kind of dark. And like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think I want to go down just... Oh, this place is bloody massive. Oh, this one's Roman. Third... Maybe fourth century. This place is like a damn museum. Mm. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Be cool. Hey, buddy. Aw. Wicked. Okay, well, let's go down this area here, and then we'll go down the other one. Because this looks like it's, yeah, just the kitchen and stuff. God, there's shit everywhere. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. Well, I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. Lol. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was. God, there are any kids, and he's like, oh, I'm old. I was always the one. Oh my god, I think we might go back and go down that and see if there's another room up here because I think we might be going too far. You just never know. With this particular game. Oh, wasn't... Wasn't there another downstairs somewhere? There's downstairs there. Oh. Maybe I'm going mad, but I thought between... I'm going mad. I always thought that there was another downstairs. Okay, never mind. I'm going mad. Um. Yeah, nothing in there. 
at all the wine. God. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now it kind of feels like Until Dawn. Because doesn't he look like that guy from Until Dawn? Was it Mike? He kind of looks like Mike. Sam does anyway. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Wow. It's been a while. I do hope you enjoy yourself this year, Charles. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I've always wanted to have like an atlas thing, not so like that big, but huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay. Well, do we get to choose? Here we go. <laughs> India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. That'd be cool. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. No, no. Let's go to Moscow. <laughs> yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. Yeah. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. Mm. It wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. sure. One last spin. Australia. Brazil. Ah. Oh, hey, God. now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. <laughs> yeah. That too. Okay, hey, no game. Check it out. Hot in there. Can you keep it on, can you? Let's walk around in it. Fertility totem. <laughs> hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? So is this how they started getting, like, because it sounds like they were always fascinated with this sort of stuff. But maybe this is what exacerbated it. Evelyn, it's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning here. Yep. Tuesday morning here, which means it's afternoon in Arabia. I hope you are finding the heat bearable. The Queen of Sheba at least had an entourage accompanying her and her treasure on her journey to Solomon. Thanks to my foolish behavior, you are retracting that journey. Uh, you are retracing that journey alone. We always agreed that we should strive to live a life of our own choosing, free of regret and missed opportunities. At the airport, my thoughts were not of the present but of the future. I simply have ha have. I simply have a hard time reconciling the whirlwind life we live around the world versus the one we live at home. No matter how intense our disagreement, I should not have cast doubt on your commitment to our family. I deserved your admonishment and I understand why you left me. In the spirit of Solomon, we must find a way to seek compromise. Until then, I wish you the very best of luck. Edmund and I shall be eagerly awaiting your return, love, Ken. What? That doesn't make any sense. Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. <laughs> I bet the food here was better. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. 
Well, they probably yeah. ate Tyke out all the time. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. It's pretty dusty and stuff in here, isn't it? Or is it just me? Wow. Damn. Whoa. We're in Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Mm. Never got around to it, though. I know nothing about it. Wow, god damn. <laughs> Can you believe that a house actually is like this? Jousting armor. Looks French. French? Really? Hey. Maybe you don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much? That's a good idea. What's in here? Uh, can a I... dragon gong. God damn. Hmm. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Going in alone. This place is just massive. I can't believe this place is like this actually exists. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Many day now. Huh. Nice. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me. I am a man of many tastes. What? You didn't like that? No, I just didn't want a copyright strike. <laughs> Is that a letter? What's left of it? Allow the soft coffee kiss to Someone join. Wanted to buy their stuff. Allow the. They said no. Not like they needed the money. Allow the. I wouldn't want to part with the stuff either. You done? Thank you. Allow the coffee kiss to join its fellows from Amenhotep's tomb. You know, museum. I certainly understand your reluctance. You did beat us to the find, after all. But our offer is more than generous, and I can assure you that it will be treated and displayed with the proper care and respect due to the sarcophagus and the effort undertaken to retrieve it. You have enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years, and it's time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you will reconsider my offer. Yours sincerely, Peter K. Hmm. Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Okay. You show off something. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. What's this? Another letter? Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. When did Amelia Earhart die? Your journey to the Elm sounds fantastic. Did the... Minds leave anything behind for you. Look forward to hearing more pers on your return. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end it there. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm. How did you know that it was supposed to explode and stuff kind of get away? I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting out of here. Mm. Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did you get here? Sully. Sully, idiot.